Greetings Android users, this is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices, and I'm here with my Google Nexus 7 tablet. I was having a conversation today with a colleague at work, and uh, he just recently purchased a Nexus 7 as well, and I asked him how he liked it, and of course he loved it, uh, way better than his uh, iPad, of course, uh, but he said that there was one thing missing, and uh, he was kind of bummed about it, he wanted to know where the flash was. Now, obviously, the uh, the flash, as we know it, Adobe is going to uh, slowly phase out the flash capabilities of the Android tablets, and that's a shame. Uh, but in some respects, it's good to move on with technology. So I decided to make this video not just for my colleague, but for the rest of you uh, to know how to add flash to this device. Now, uh, the Nexus 7 comes by default with uh, Chrome as its default browser. That was another thing that I kind of missed, the original browser from my ice cream sandwich tablets and whatnot, and so I've decided to go ahead and put that on here as well. So that's what this video is. This video is how to add uh, the uh, traditional Android browser as well as putting uh, Flash on this. Now, let me demonstrate for you uh, the problem here. If we go in to uh, Chrome, you'll notice it comes up to, um, I have brought up Meta Cafe because it's an easy one to go to that demonstrates the problem here. You'll notice that uh, it requires a plugin to be able to play the video, and that's Flash that it's looking for. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go in. Now, I've chosen ES File Explorer as my uh, file browser of choice on my Android devices. And let's go in there now. Now ES File Explorer is free off of the uh, Google Play Market. And if you go in to the settings, if you haven't done so already, you'll notice that there is an option for Root Explorer and then Mount File System. You want both of those turned on in order to do what I'm gonna do in this video. So to follow along, you wanna have Root Explorer and Mount File System. Now some of you use uh, other root file browsers and that's fine. I use ES File Explorer, well, because it's free. So now that I have that uh, turned on and activated, there are two files that you're going to download. You're gonna download the browser APK file. Now that file, I'll have a link to it in the video description, as well as on my website, reverendkyle.com. The other file that you'll need is the Adobe Flash uh, 11.1 installer. Now again, uh, this is the equivalent of, uh, of side loading. So you're not downloading these from the market, uh, you're getting them elsewhere and then installing them. Now, the browser itself, the browser APK file, is not as easy as just tapping on it and installing it. It doesn't work that way. Uh, we're gonna actually have to copy that into the system app folder, and we're gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna press and hold on the browser APK, and I'm gonna do copy, which does put a little box down here in ES File Explorer. Now we need to go to the actual root. So I usually just hit the favorites up here at the top, and then the little phone with the slash, which gives you root access. So now that we're in root, we're gonna go into system. And then from system, we're going to app. And this is where we need to paste the file. So I'm gonna hit the little box down there at the bottom, which brings up the browser APK file, and if I tap on it, it will paste it in here, and it looks, and it does say that it was copied successfully. So now that file is in here, you can see it right here, it's browser APK, the icon has changed ever so slightly. We need to do two more things while we're in here. Uh, we need to change the permissions of this actual file. So this browser APK file, I'm gonna press and hold, and I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom where it says properties. And when I hit properties, you'll notice you have a few options here. One of them is permissions, and it says change. So as it stands right now, it only has read write for the user. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna also give read access to the group and to other. So your permissions should look exactly like mine here. If you don't need to change anything else, just make it look like this and then press OK, and then press OK again. 
So now that file has the correct permissions and it's in the correct folder. Now the next thing we need to do is there is a file in here called Browser Pr Provider Proxy. Now I'm going to press and hold on that and I'm going to hit rename. Okay, this browser provider proxy.odex. This is an odex file, and this can cause some uh, problems uh, with the uh, new browser APK file in there. So I'm going to tap on that, and I'm just going to add a one to the end of the extension. So now it's browser provider proxy.odex1. So that will basically, I'll hit OK here, that will basically tell the system to ignore that file. Now that file uh, does some uh, some back-end stuff and we'll come back to that when we're done here. So I'm going to hit home now and I'm basically ready to go with that browser APK file but we do have to reboot now that we've put it in the file. So I'm going to power off And now I'm going to power it back on. Okay, now you'll notice, you'll notice here on my screen I do have the little unlock, which means that this device is uh, unlocked and rooted. Uh, you will uh, probably want to do that if you're going to do any type of modifications to it like we have here. Now, uh, in order for the ES File Explorer root access to work, the device has to be rooted. So you don't really have a choice if you haven't unlocked and rooted this device yet, this video isn't going to work for you. So if you have not unlocked and rooted your device yet, I do have a video in my channel uh, on uh, how to, uh, it's actually an idiot's guide to unlocking and rooting the Google Nexus 7 tablet. So I do recommend starting there. All right, so here we are, we're back at the device and I'm gonna unlock it. And I'm gonna go back over here and uh, you see that I have a few uh, browsers already installed, Opera Mobile, Chrome, Dolphin. And now if I go into my tray, I also have the regular browser. And this is the traditional uh, browser that you would see in most of your Android devices. And uh, this browser now works. So we're going to go in and it's going to attempt to sign me into the Google, which is fine, uh, the Google website. And um, want do I want to share my location? Nah, not this time. All right. So Basically now we have uh, the old school browser that we're used to on this device. Now one thing uh, that's unfortunate is that bookmarks don't work on this browser. So that's the limitation of putting this browser in here is as it is right now, uh, putting the browser on here, the traditional Android browser, there is no bookmarks. Uh, this doesn't affect the Chrome usage at all. Your Chrome will still have its bookmarks, but this browser will not have any bookmarks. So now we've put that new uh, browser on there, we can start working on putting on Flash. Okay, so now let's put Flash on the device. So let's go back into our ES File Explorer. We've already downloaded the actual Flash file. This is the, the Flash uh, Adobe Flash 11.1 installer file, and we've already put that on our device. Uh, you can either use a USB connection to put it onto the root of the SD card, or you can uh, download it directly to the device if you choose. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that now, and it will want to install, and I'll go ahead and hit install. If you get some sort of message saying that uh, you have to change your permissions to allow unknown sources, please go into your settings and do so. All right, so it says app installed, and I'm going to hit open, and it's going to ask me what action I'm going to use, and I'm going to do browser and always. Okay, so now it's working. So now we have Flash on the browser, and I'm going to show you that by going into Meta Cafe, as we did before in the Chrome browser. And I'll just pick some random video here. And look at that. 
it's already starting up. So we know now that you can install Flash on this tablet and you can use a browser, uh, a specific browsers will be able to take advantage of the Flash. So this is working just fine. I'm very pleased with that. Now let's go take a look at the implications of installing Flash. If we go back to Chrome, which uh, hopefully it'll remember where I was, it does. It's reloading this file. Notice that this hasn't changed at all. Uh, Chrome still can't pick up the Flash content, and that's fine. Let's take a look at uh, Dolphin. Dolphin is another alternate browser. Uh, in my opinion, it's a very nice browser to have. Uh, it does give you the ability for uh, desktop view, which is something that I think that a lot of uh, uh, tablets really take advantage of is the desktop view. Uh, the desktop version of a site is going to uh, give you the full effect of it as opposed to a stripped down mobile version. So we're going to go in and choose that same video from Meta Cafe and there it is and uh, I have to give it a minute here. There we go. Okay. So here we go. It's running just exactly the way I would expect it to. Okay, so that's running. Now if we go back to our home and we open up Opera Mobile, Opera Mobile, another very commonly used uh, browser, and uh, you'll notice something unfortunate. Uh, Meta Cafe opens up, but nothing. And I have gone in and played with the settings and whatnot to try to get Opera Mobile to pick up the, um, I even have it on desktop user agent. I have yet to be able to get Opera Mobile uh, to, well, oh, looking for a certificate of some sort. Okay, still doesn't work. Um, a little birdie told me that Opera has decided not to allow Flash content on the Google Nexus 7 tablet, despite the fact that you have it installed correctly. That's very unfortunate, but it is just a fact. Um, that's it. Uh, that, that's really the intention of this video, was to show you how to get Flash on your, uh, on your Nexus 7 tablet. Now, if for some reason you decide that you don't want to have the browser APK, uh, I did that because I like that browser. You could have completely skipped that part and gone straight into installing the Flash, and the Flash would work fine uh, with Dolphin and some of the other browsers. Uh, just keep in mind that Opera is not playing friendly with the Flash right now. So that, that again, unfortunate, but it is true. Um, you don't have to install the browser, but I really missed it, so I wanted it on mine. So hopefully this puts you in a good place. Uh, the Flash uh, seems to work fairly well. I was playing with it earlier today and uh, um, I was very pleased with the performance. It's not perfect. Uh, also with your uh, browser APK, again, be aware it wasn't meant for this device, so you may have some crashing or whatnot. Uh, not a big deal. Um, if for some reason yours doesn't work completely, it means you've missed a step, please go back and rewatch the video. All right, so this has been Reverend Kyle uh, showing you how to put Flash on your Google Nexus 7 tablet.